We're going to move on now to the women's Kieran, which has reached uh, its final. Women's Kieran, we will have uh, the final of 7th to 12th places and then the final for the medals. These riders lining up for the final 7 to 12. Elena Casas of Spain, top of the track, next to her. Luz Daniela Gaffiola. The Russian rider Darius Shmaleva, world champion at different disciplines. Alongside her, Hai Jin Lee of Korea. And Lubov Basova of the Ukraine is the final rider. A little bit of a problem here with the advertising hoarding, which the commissaires, the judges won't be too keen on it flapping around. So they've removed it. A little dangerous. Katie Marchant, Olympic medalist. Six laps to go. Three laps behind the Derny bike, and then the Derny bike peels off, and the riders go for the sprint. Hai Jin Lee of Korea is tucked in right on the bike. Behind her, the Mexican rider, Luth Gaciola, there she is. Lubov Basovo has been riding well in the World Cups. Katie Marchant of Great Britain. Then we've got Daria Shmaleva in the red shorts. And behind her, Elena Casas in the red and yellow of Spain. Four laps of racing to go. Kieran Racing, of course, very popular in Japan. I was lucky enough a couple of years ago to go to Kieran Racing in Tokyo. It's a huge sport, massive gambling. The riders earn a lot of money. Some of these riders do go and ride over there. In particular, the likes of uh, Vogel and others. When I went there, they were constantly talking about Rebecca James, who at the time was the British rider who was riding over there. And they enjoy seeing riders like Francois Pervis and others. Right, the, right, the pace is now starting to go up. Two laps to go. This is for the 7th to 12th places, and it's Lubov Basova on the front in the yellow and blue of Ukraine. Marchin trying to get on terms on the outside. On the inside is Hyjin Lee, but it's going to be Lubov Basova who takes the 7th place. Hyjin Lee takes 8th. Good sprint there between those riders. We'll just get confirmation of the result, but it looks like Lubov Basova finishes seventh. Behind her, Hai Jin Lee, then Katie Marchant, and then Helena Casas.
There's confirmation of the result. 7th to 12th places. Basava in 7th place. This is for the final then. This is to decide where the rainbow bands go. And this is the lineup of riders with Christina Vogel, the defending champion. She's looking for a hat trick in a row. She's already won in 2014, then a gap to 16, 17. She's looking for three in a row now. But some really strong competition in here. Wai Chu Li of Hong Kong, China, world champion of the 500 meter. Christina Vogel, 11 world titles, looking to go one better than Anna Mears of Australia. Simona Krupa-Skyter, world champion in 2010. Next to her. Shanna Braspanix. And then we've got Nikki de Gredler of Belgium. And Lorene van Riesen, if you're looking to try and work out which rider is which for the Netherlands. Lorene van Riesen wearing a, a laser helmet. Compared to Shanna Braspanix, who's just got the black helmet with a line down it. With the red on it as well. Quite hard to pick them out. Let's look and see if there's any other differences. I think Lorene Van Riesen has uh, white shoes on as well. And Brass Bannix has black over shoes on. There's Brass Bannix. So on the wheel of the bike is Lorene Van Riesen. Behind her, Nikki de Grendela. Then we've got Shanna Braspanix. Then Simona Krupa-Skyter. Behind her, Christina Vogel. And the rider right at the back, Wai Chuli. Lorene Van Riesen still on the back of the bike. Behind Nikki de Grendela, starting to leave that little bit of a gap. They do that just to drop back a little bit, just to entice a rider forward, but also because it's faster to accelerate into the slipstream. So let's see who takes this then. Coming up now, the Danny bike is off. Vogel looking for her 12th world title. Lorene Van Riesen on the front. The Grendelow's up there. They're all waiting for Vogel to make her move, which is probably a big mistake, because when Vogel does go, you won't come back at her. Simona Krupa-Skyter is going to accelerate with Vogel. De Grendela goes to the front. A big move on the outside from Shanna Braspanix, who's now going flat out down the back straight. Vogel is boxed in a little bit. Braspanix is going for the line. Braspanix is going for this world title as Vogel got it in the legs to come back. De Grendela on the outside. Braspanix and De Grendela. Oh, Vogel slips and slides all over the place. She's going to have to try and come back here. But it's De Grendela of Belgium going for this world title. Nikki De Grendela of Belgium. Is she going to take it on the line? It's going to be world title. Title for Nikita de Grendela of Belgium. What a sprint by Nikita de Grendela. She sits up now, she can't believe it. Christina Vogel had a little bit of a speed wobble as she accelerated. Nikita de Grendela. What a win by her. She got that tactic absolutely perfect. She can't believe she's won the world title. Nikki de Grendela takes it, bronze medalist last year. She is now world champion. Second place was Wai Chuli and Simona Krupa-Skyter in third. Vogel 